I became principal October 6th of this year. Okay, so once again, tell us about the changes to the food in the classroom. Okay, we, I sent an email out to staff today that we are going to not have any snacks in the classrooms. We're going to contain all food items to the cafeteria because we've never had problems there. Um, and we can keep all the garbage in one place. We're not going to eat in the pavilions because we don't want children dropping, you know, snack pieces and then encouraging animals to come up into the building. You also have these special bins as well. Yes, we went out this week and purchased bins for everybody in the entire school. And the children can bring their lunch boxes in, keep them in their safe. And also, sometimes kids forget their lunch boxes. So if that happens, we certainly don't want, you know, there are things to be harmed overnight. Uh, but you said there will be special exceptions for pre-K. We have some ESE students that will still need to eat in their classroom. And this may be obvious, but mm -hmm. why are you taking all these steps? Well, the situation seemed to peak. Um, there has been some talk that because FPNL has been clearing land around us, that that's why we had this latest intrusion. What, uh, what do you want to tell parents who are watching tonight? I am very impressed with the efforts that the district uh, made this weekend. I came here yesterday and I was just uh, totally amazed at what a great organization it was and how thoroughly everything was being taken care of. So I've been here most of the weekend and I've seen all the work that's gone into it, including trimming of the trees. And we did have to remove one tree because it was just too close to the building. And again, that's how they were entering the building, by coming down through the trees. So bottom line message to parents. I, I, this is a great place. Panther Run's always been a great place, but it's a safe place for your kids. I have very caring teachers and we are making every effort to keep that going. Okay. Was the rumor about the oh, that was another thing. I've had several parents say that they didn't want to send their kids because of the fumes. We did not fumigate. As you heard earlier, it was spring traps and glue traps with bait overnight. And you're, and again, you're disinfecting everything. Right. And you saw that in that last room. <laughs> That's pretty intense.